my honor, my pleasure to introduce the president of the NJEA, Marie Bliston. Good to see you, Marie. Thank you, Steve. I just finished a, an interview here with the Commissioner of Education of mm -hmm. the State of New Jersey, uh, Dr. Rappelet. You told me this is the first education commissioner to do what? In the history of this organization to be here the Wednesday night before the convention to meet with all of our members and the people who put this convention together. We have two, three different committees that do that. Right. And the first commissioner in the history of this organization who was here for the ribbon cutting when we opened up this that morning. That matters why? It matters because it tells us where his priorities are. They truly are with public education, with our students, and with the members who provide those services. You came to these conventions well before you were the president. I sure did. Talk about your my, background as a teacher. My very first year of teaching, I started coming first here. First year? I did. A couple years ago. A couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, a couple, couple, couple years yeah. ago. Yeah. But the convention has evolved dramatically. Yes. What's it like today? Well, it's evolved. I mean, even many years ago, we didn't have as many of the workshop offerings as we have. We didn't represent that many members. Today, I'm very happy to tell you that we represent members from pre-service, those students who are in college who want to become teachers right. through K through 12, through college, and through uh, our members who are retired. There's something here for literally for everyone, but there's a common thread. And the common thread still is students, children and what we need to do in this country to move our country forward through public education. School violence, guns in the hands of teachers who are trained to use those guns. You're shaking your head before I even finish the question. Yeah, that's because? Totally, yeah, it's totally ridiculous. What we should be doing is putting our efforts and our time and money into resources for our public schools so that we can in fact provide the necessary uh, resources and supports that our students, our children and their families need. And for those who are watching saying, yeah, but if, God forbid, something happens and a teacher is armed, he or she is in a better position to protect his or her students, you say? That's also ridiculous. We are not trained to be police officers. We are trained to be teachers, nurturers, and facilitators. And we're very good at doing that job. Park tests, standardized yes. testing, where are we today? We are working with the commissioner, the Department of Education, and all other stakeholders to look for another assessment that will more adequately reflect a different what kind our of, standards are. A different kind of test? We're looking for a test that will reflect the standards that we have here in New Jersey. We have very high standards for our students. We've been known to have that uh, throughout the country. We're rated number two in the United States for the best quality public schools. In terms of student schools. performance? Yeah. Well, absolutely. We're rated in the top five on AP test scores. We are absolutely number one. Is the question of who is going into teaching changed dramatically in the last... 10, 15 years? I think, yeah, our colleges started to report that there was a downturn in students who were interested in public education during the prior eight years of uh, the governor in this state. And I think that we have been working very hard to show what the truth is about this wonderful profession, about the difference that we make. We, are, we have such a responsibility, but we have such an opportunity to make a difference in a child's life, to help them, to guide them. We are the ones who are able to do that. We spend a lot of hours every day with children, facilitating what it is that they want to become. You know, before I let you out, I want to ask you this. Biggest challenge being a really excellent public school teacher today is? Because you talked about how great it is. One challenge. Well, I, I always look at challenges as opportunities, and I think that You've we... Always, oh, have you always been a positive person like that? Yeah, because, yeah, Challenge absolutely. Challenge is nothing more than opportunity. They are opportunities, Go ahead. always. Yeah. Name one. Well, uh, we get to the chance to have continuing education. We get the chance to have continued professional development. Look, this world evolves. Our, our country has evolved. We're not the same country technologically than we were 10 years ago, five years ago, even one year ago. And we have that opportunity to stay on top and bring the very best, not only into our, our own lives, but into their students' lives. We thank you for once again having us and our team here in Atlantic City at the convention. Um, and we wish you and your colleagues all the best. Steve, thank you, and thank you for the work that you continue to do. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by New Jersey Sharing Network, TD Bank, the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, 
PSENG, Atlantic Health System, and by the Russell Berry Foundation. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.